Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to unroot your Nexus 5 on a Mac computer, guys. Um, if you guys are actually interested in rooting on a Windows computer, you can click on the annotation somewhere here on the screen, or I've provided a link down below in the video description as well. Um, unrooting your device is really great as it will remove everything, uh, custom ROM, root, and this method will also lock your bootloader. So in the, once you're done with this whole video, this will also be safe enough to send back to Google, your uh, manufacturer, or even LG with them ever knowing you ever um, you know, modified it, installed custom ROM, rooted, or anything like that. And this method will also fix a boot loop. So if you're stuck on that boot animation, uh, go ahead and follow this guide and you will be out of that boot loop in no time at all, guys. Um, one thing to note is it, uh, this method and any other unrooting method will actually go ahead and move all your data from your phone. So be sure to back it up, all your apps, music, movies, photos, settings, literally everything will be gone, text messages, uh, contacts, everything will be gone from your um, Nexus 5 storage. So make sure you back up all the important information to your computer, to the cloud, anywhere but your phone. So now let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do is go ahead and power off your phone. Right there, just go and power it off and we're gonna go ahead and enter into bootloader mode. So once it's powered off, press the volume up, volume down and power button all at the same time. And once you do feel a vibration, let go of the power. Okay, now you'll see this green Android with a green start screen. Now plug in your phone via micro USB, as you can see here by the clickety clacking. <laughs> and it's going to plug it in. Um, let's go ahead. Okay, now it's plugged in, and you can you're, you're still at this green start screen. Now we're going to do the almost all the rest of the process on our Mac computer. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, we have a folder called Unroot Nexus 5 on my desktop. So um, you can go and grab this file. It'll be a zip file. You just have to unroot it. Uh, you can grab this file in the link down below in the video description. Uh, so let's go ahead and download it right now. Um, it's a little bit of a big file, so download it right now. It could take a little bit of time. Um, but it'll be a zip file, so just go and unzip it. Right click on the file, unzip it, and then you'll come with this folder. Uh, let me go and open it up and show you what it's inside of it. So you got all these options. So you got ADB Mac, um, ADB uh, or Fastboot Mac right there. Uh, and you also have the stack files that you need, all three of these two, uh, to go ahead and get the job done for this unrooting process. Um, so here it is. Um, just make sure this folder is on your desktop or you will run into problems. Just put it in your desktop. Um, it's going to make a, your life a lot easier because I'm going to be doing commands with the desktop. So just make sure the folder is on your desktop. Uh, once you do unzip it and once that is done go ahead and open up terminal uh, you can just do a little start bar in the up in the corner just search up terminal and you'll be good to go and now in terminal we're going to go ahead and type in cd desktop Oop, cd desktop enter then cd unroot nexus 5 because that's the name of the folder that we want to get into and in here we're going to go ahead and type in dot slash fast boot dash mac space flash bootloader and then we're going to uh, press space and then type in bootloader again. So it's flash bootloader space bootloader. Don't press enter or space again. Press tab and they'll fill in the rest for you of the file. And then press enter. And then it's going to go ahead and install the stock bootloader. And now we're going to type in dot slash fastboot dash max space reboot dash bootloader. And this is going to reboot our bootloader. Okay, so it says rebooting bootloader, now it's done. Now we're going to go ahead and flash the radio. So now I'm going to do dot slash fastboot dash max space flash radio space radio and just press tab again and it'll automatically fill it in. And if you guys think I'm going too fast or you can't read this text, I'll have a link down below, a step-by-step -step guide link, a written step-by-step -step guide in the link down below uh, on my website, an article. So you can just uh, copy and paste it or just type it off of that article. Um, if this is too hard for you to read or you prefer that. And we're going to press enter. And now it's sending the radio. So it's sending the stock radio. It's writing it now. Okay. So that one did take a little bit longer. And now we're going to go reboot the bootloader again. So we're going to press dot slash fast boot dash max space reboot dash bootloader. Just like that. And now rebooted the bootloader. Let me go and move this up a little bit so you can see that better. And now we're going to go ahead and do the big one. Uh, now we're going to type in dot slash fast boot fast boot oh <laughs> I'm messing up fast boot um, uh, dash Mac and then we're gonna type in dash W space update space image and then type in uh, uh, do dash and automatically fill it in and it's gonna be a big file so this uh, processing will take a little bit now I'm gonna press enter 
and now it's going to do its whole thing. It will take a little bit of time, so please be patient. And even though it says archive for uh, boot.sig and recovery.sig uh, does not contain that, it's okay. It always shows up like that. You'll be fine. <laughs> it's always been like that. And now it's going to go ahead and flash all the stock baseband's recoveries, systems, and all that good stuff. So we're going to go, this will take about five minutes. And once it is completely done, your phone will automatically reboot. So I'll try to get in that in the camera once it starts rebooting. So I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so it just finished. As you can see there, it only took 97 seconds, just about. Uh, so it just took about a minute and a half. So not too long at all. And as you can see, it's booting up right now. And all your data will be removed. It's going to give you that start screen just like the day you first bought it uh, with you setting up your Wi-Fi, email, um, you know, all that other good stuff too, and language. Um, so this boot up will take about two to three minutes. So be patient. I'll be back once it's done booting up. Okay, so after two minutes, the boot up did finish, just about two minutes, and now you can go and set this all up. You can go and skip it if you want, set it up, whichever way you want to do. It's your phone, uh, you it's your choice. Um, so I'm just going to go and skip everything just for you guys and show you that we're on stock now. Um, so as you can see, you got all this set up, but we're not done. We still have to lock our bootloader so Google or your carrier doesn't know you ever modified it or messed with it. Um, before we do begin that, um, there is a chance that a small percentage of your uh, people who are watching this might get stuck in the boot loop. Um, like I said earlier, please wait five at least five minutes for it to fully boot up. If you're still stuck in the boot loop, um, then go ahead and follow this procedure. Um, unplug your phone and uh, hold on the power button and power it off or just keep holding on the power button until it's fully powered off even if you're stuck on the boot loop. Um, so once you're on the boot loop, and this is this only pertains to people who are stuck on the boot loop. If you already got in the setup screen, just skip this boot loop uh, setup part. Um, but if you're uh, if you're stuck on a boot loop, you know the uh, um, booting up logo right there. Then go ahead and follow this procedure. Um, so just hold on power button until it's completely uh, shut off, and then we're gonna go and enter into uh, bootloader mode again. So press the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power. Vibration, let go of the power. Then we'll go ahead and enter into recovery mode. So press the volume up twice, recovery, and then press the power button. And this is gonna enter us into stock recovery mode because we already flashed stock recovery. So it really doesn't matter which recovery you are on. And yes, you get this uh, dead Android. Um, this is what I, I was um, expecting. So what we're doing is pressing the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time and press it um, a couple times, probably eight times. So all three, just keep pressing them. As you can see, boom, it did show up now. And now you do have a little um, text right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me go and show you that. Um, it says Android system recovery right there and then volume up and down. All right. So it's very, very basic. So we're going to go all the way down to wipe data slash factory reset. Uh, that's the third one down. All the way down to wipe data slash factory reset. And uh, use, the, use the power button to select it. And we're going to go all the way down to selecting yes and go select yes and this is going to do a factory reset and this will no matter what fix your boot loop after you um if you got stuck in the boot loop uh just earlier um so we're just going to do this and this is also good to do even if you don't get stuck in the boot loop if you want to really uh, clean install just in case uh you can go and follow this method too okay so after a few seconds it's finally uh, went back to the normal state and now go ahead and select reboot system now using the power button and now our phone is going to reboot and now you will not be stuck in the boot loop uh, no matter what after uh, performing this terminal um, execution uh, you'll be just fine um, so this boot loop uh, or this boot animation will just be fine um, it will take about two to five minutes to fully boot up but you will not be stuck in here after you know uh, 10 minutes or an hour even um, so I'll be back once it's done booting up and we'll finish this up Okay, so now my phone has uh, fully uh, booted up even though I was stuck in a boot loop or pe actually people who are stuck in a boot loop, uh, you should be able to fully boot up now after just a few minutes. And of course, you can go and skip all this or actually go and set it up. Um, I'm just going to stop right here. You can go and set it up or stop. But now we have to go ahead and lock our bootloader. So once again, we're going to enter into bootloader mode bootloader mode so just go and power off your phone um, and this is only a quick uh, fix or a quick second of bootloader -ness, and then we'll be completely done so once our phone is turned off we're going to press the volume up volume down and power button all at the same time and of course once you do feel a vibration let go of the power so all three feel vibration let go of the power and you'll be at this start screen once again and it, you can see right here that it says lock state unlocked so we need to make that back to locked so we can get everything all fixed and proper to go 
Uh, so we have to go ahead and get that locked so Google and your carriers don't know you ever modified it or messed with your device. Um, so just go ahead and plug in your phone via micro USB once again to your uh, Mac computer right here. And let's go ahead and go back into terminal and finish this up. Okay, so uh, terminal still open. As you can see, we're still in this folder, Unroot Nexus 5 folder. If you close this out, just go ahead and come back to the Unroot Nexus 5 uh, folder point like I am here at the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and type in dot slash fastboot dash mac space oem lock and this is going to lock our bootloader bootloader enter and as you can see it says finished and now once you go ahead and look at this it's in green or it's actually in white it says lock state locked so that is what we needed to actually make it locked and google not ever finding out now just go ahead and press the power button your phone will fully boot up just within eight seconds of it being normal and then you'll be done you'll be one percent stock you can go and send this back to your manufacturer google LG, your carrier, without them ever knowing you ever modified it, or if you just want to keep it stock just like the day you first bought it, you can if you'd like. Um, as you can see, there's my start screen within 8 seconds. I hope this unrooting guide did help you out guys it, to unroot your Nexus 5 on a Mac computer. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It would be much appreciated guys to do those two things. I really do appreciate all that support you guys do give me. And of course, I will have more guides, more tips, and so many more ROM reviews, rooting, tips, hacks, guides, all for the Nexus 4. So much more content for the Nexus, or I'm sorry, Nexus 5 to come in the future guys. So be sure to subscribe, stay tuned because you guys are really going to enjoy this channel if you guys own a Nexus 5 or any of the major um, smartphone devices I do own too here on this channel guys and hit me up on Twitter, Facebook or Google Plus if you have a question about this routing guide or just something related to Android guys I love answering questions or if you just have an opinion or something you just want to let me know or a request for a video be sure to hit me up on Twitter, Facebook or Google Plus like I mentioned earlier everything is down below to the files like I mentioned in this video and social networks links are down below too thanks for watching guys I will catch you later peace